An 18-wheeler crashed again in Garden City. It's happened often in the same spot in the past few years. And once again, the driver told law enforcement his brakes failed. New specialist Alex Cabrero is live there tonight. And Alex, no one was injured, at least in this crash, right? That's right, Dee, no injuries. Even the driver of that 18-wheeler, he is okay after rolling that big rig onto its side there at the main intersection. Now, UDOT installed a runaway truck ramp further up the mountain back in 2020, but the driver said he wasn't having any problems as he passed that spot. The thing about peaceful places is once discovered, everyone wants to go there. It's growing very quickly. Norm Meekum has had a home and business in Garden City for close to 30 years and has seen the change. It's getting busier and busier, and, and the truck traffic is getting busier and busier. This morning... Just a big boom. It happened again. Uh, I've lost track, but it's... Uh, Six, seven, eight in that range. Another 18 wheeler coming down the mountain on Highway 89 crashed once reaching the main intersection in town. He just said that he that he lost that lost his brakes. Jeremiah Cinder was working nearby and rushed to help the driver after the big rig rolled onto its passenger side. He looked fine. He just looked uh, in shock. These types of crashes have happened so often here. Yuda installed a runaway truck ramp a year and a half ago. It's never been used, and this is the first time there has been a crash since it was installed. However, the driver told investigators his brakes failed after the ramp. He started to realize about two blocks up that he wasn't able to brake. There's even a brake check at the top of the mountain before the runaway ramp. The driver did uh, tell us that uh, he had stopped at the brake check before uh, entering the canyon. The driver didn't hit anybody in the crash. It was early, but the busy season here gets going in a couple of weeks. And as more people discover the place, the concern is eventually someone will be in that intersection at the wrong time. It's a miracle every time. You just come away from going, I don't know how it happens without someone dying in the intersection. I checked with you about the location of that runaway truck ramp. Some people are wondering if maybe locating a little further down the mountain would be better. UDOT says they did several feasibility studies and the current location of that ramp was found to be the best one. The Utah Highway Patrol says they will continue to investigate this crash. Dini? Oh, we've seen you at that corner a lot doing these stories. Uh, too much, Alex. Thanks.